Players have expressed their disgust at what they deem the lack of professionalism by the organizers of the Hoop of Life Community Basketball League. They stated that yesterday, numerous players were not paid their stipends for playing in the league. Patrice Samuel brings you the details. Scores of players in the government-initiated Hoop of Life Community Basketball League congregated at the Shore Park Sporting Complex where they were expected to receive their stipends. To their surprise, the majority of persons were denied their stipends due to their employment status. They believe this is grossly unfair as this was not stipulated beforehand in their contract. They did not specify to us and let us know that this year is only unemployed people because a lot of people here, the majority of us are employed. So if they specify that employed people would not have to, to compart in the, in the um, competition. No, they wait until we, we come now to, to draw pay. We come with the managers and we coaches. When we come to draw pay, they will hand back the ID card and let you know. Once they employed, you cannot get paid. Players in the league sustained injuries and in turn put in large amounts of time and energy into the basketball league and believe that it is only right for them to receive compensation. Another player is completely disappointed by the entire operation and believes that a program spearheaded by the government should have been more professional in, in the way in which they dealt with the entire situation. Since this is a community initiative, right, they have management staff and all management staff is employed. So if all management staff is employed, why are they being paid? And the players who make the league happen are not being paid. That, I can't understand that. That is not making any sense to me. According to one player, they were to receive a monthly stipend for engaging in the program. And after four months of receiving absolutely nothing, this is a great disappointment. June Thomas of the Ministry of National Security, who is one of the persons who was responsible for the distribution of the stipend, stated that it is a misunderstanding as the program was geared towards assisting unemployed persons. She stated that they must now go back to the drawing board in an attempt to appease the players. Patrice Samuel, Channel 5 Sport.